hello welcome to uh, be a legend and today we're on a little bit of a wobble in the league but we're still in the FA trophy just <laughs> And welcome to episode 17 of To Be A Legend. My name is Mark and on today's episode we have games against Dulwich Hamlet and I've completely forgotten what the other game is against right now. Um, it is against, let's have a quick look, uh, Borenwood, that's it, um, in our second game of the episode. So that's what's coming up. Um, what's been happening since you were last with us? Well, uh, since you were last with us, as I've mentioned in the intro, uh, we've been having a little bit of a wobble on in the league. Um, last time you were with us, you saw Fylde and Barnett, a 2-1 win in the FA uh, Trophy fourth round against Fylde. Uh, a 1-1 one -one draw against Barnet in the, the league. Uh, Kane Felix scoring there. A 0-0 nil -nil then. Uh, that followed that with Yeovil Town. And then uh, we played Leighton Orient. Uh, both of those games at home, uh, which is normally our safe ground. And, uh, well, yeah, Leighton Orient, we lost 1-0 to Leighton Orient. Uh, then we played uh, Hartlepool in the FA Trophy, having played them up here, drew 1-1 away from home. Uh, we drew with them 1-1 again. Uh, Kane Felix to score after 25 minutes. So they equalise. Let's have a quick look at that. Um, there we go. Kane Felix after 25 minutes. Um, they had a goal disallowed after 32 and Molyneux scoring the equaliser after 82 to take it. We uh, had elected not to do extra time uh, we took it to a replay and on the replay we actually managed to beat them by two goals to nil which was quite good uh, goals from Shenton after two minutes and Harry Ogenby after well a minute of extra time basically and then we held out in the second half and as you'll see we did have quite a uh, we, we didn't just hold out we uh, we did quite well the only thing was uh, the shots uh, to shots on target ratio wasn't particularly fantastic as you'll see we have changed formation slightly again we've gone to this formation now where we've got uh, one player up front and then we have a two wide attacking midfielders so in effect three up front and then our two midfielders and our defensive midfielder um, seems to be working quite well. Uh, that 2 0 win against Hartlepool, and then we had a 3 1 win against Wrexham. But it also included the fastest goal, um, certainly since we started the save, but uh, on record day again. You'll see the formation that we have got. Uh, Lewis Riley with that goal inside a minute. I'm going to show you it because it was literally 25 seconds from kickoff. I'm guessing the highlight might actually run from the kickoff, possibly. It's not going to, but you'll see 17 seconds on the clock. Ball forward, Riley puts it away. And if we pause that, what we may well be able to do is actually wind. Can we wind that back? No, it's just kicked me out. Um, doesn't want me. <laughs> doesn't want me. I'm wondering actually. Um, right, let's see if we can get that to go back. Can we get that to go back? We can. Here we go. Right from the kickoff. Then here's the kickoff. Riley back to Jameson. Jameson back to Irwin who is in goal. More about that in a moment. Irwin forward. And then we pick up where the highlight picked up. Hussey with the ball for Jameson intercepting. Ogenby puts it through for Riley to run onto. And Riley back on form, stacks that away in the corner. Um, we're going to see the other goals while we're here, I think, is basically what's going to happen now. There's the equaliser. Davis scoring the equaliser. And then early in the second half Riley makes it 2-1 and finally with 79 minutes on the clock begins through to Felix 
and Felix tucks that away very very nicely in the corner so there you go that's how we beat Wrexham in the National League the first league win in four uh, for us or in fact five um, because uh, Stockport County was a 1-1 draw as well so the last time we won in the league was a 4-2 win against Halifax, Halifax Town back in December so we've gone through the whole of January without winning in the league and uh, We've uh, actually managed to turn that nail against Wrexham, which uh, was a good win. So, today's games, Dulwich Hamlet and Boreham Wood. Um, there has been some activity going on. Um, we have had offers for Dennis Gumphy, um, Swansea notably, um, in the last one, but they're only uh, offering £1,000. His uh, fee is valued at £10,000, so um, we're, we're basically holding out for somewhere near that figure um, we have put in a loan request for ryan corrigan ryan corrigan is a left-sided defender can play as a wing back but also can play as a central uh, defense as well he's a bit tired um, he has been playing non-competitive matches for stoke um, but we're looking to bring him in on to the end of the season um, his contract runs out at the end of the season so it's possible that we may be able to if he's any good we may well be able to pick him up, but we do have um, some other interests from Derry City, Dundalk, and St Patrick's Celtic. Uh, sorry, Athletic um, in the mix there. Right, I don't think there's anything else happened transfer-wise. Um, Harrison Biggins, I'm not sure if he came in uh, before the last episode. No, he wasn't in because uh, hang on a minute, or was he? Did 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 did. Yeah, I think he was. He come in during the episode, I think. Uh, Harrison Biggins. Um, let's have a look at him again. Oh, he didn't. He come in afterwards. So we uh, we have had one central midfield uh, to replace Tim, who's gone back to um, where it, whence he came. Uh, Shrewsbury, I think it was. He's gone back. Or was it West Brom? I don't know. Um, he's gone back anyway, and uh, we've brought in Harrison Biggins, who has made two appearances for us. He's got one assist up to date, and a 6.87 on the uh, thing. He's also made two appearances in the Builder Base. That was uh, two matches against Hartlepool, and has got a 6.9, so he's a 6.88 overall. Four appearances, one off the bench, and one assist to date so he's made a reasonable start the other thing that has happened since you were last with us charlie savage he's left us for seven thousand pounds uh turning to eight eight thousand and twenty five i think we did have him on the uh on the transfer list at his own request so he's gone and left us um hence why we secured uh harrison biggins um knowing that he was potentially going to leave us so that's all the transfer news that has been happening without any more to do let's go through to our first game of the episode against Dulwich Hamlet and this is the team that we have selected for the game against Dulwich Hamlet and uh, as you will see Irwin continues in goal basically um, he took over from Fodacek in the uh, FA Trophy and uh, I think it was the second leg possibly um, and then because he had a good game um, we kept him in for the Wrexham game had another good game so he is on a upwards spiral coming back as you'll see he actually has a much better match rating uh, over the last uh, five games and his average rating is higher as well so at the moment he is the goalkeeper in favour Fodicek um, is out of favour he won't be too happy but that's how it is so Matt Irwin gets a chance to maybe finish off the rest of the season um, potentially he is wanted by Millwall um, so uh, we have suitors coming our way um, contractually he'll have a bad game now I've clicked on him he is contracted to us until the end of the season so um, we'll see how he goes it may be that he gets a renewed contract on the back of this anyway Irwin in goal Dwyer Jameson Leather and Hughes in defense Leather coming back in Baines um, was um, wasn't really fit 
and uh, Leather came in for a couple of games um, and to uh, fill in for him. He's been having a good time in there, um, so he's found his way back in. It's uh, Baines is going to have to fight his way back into this side, and Jameson may be the ter the person who drops off for him if he uh, if he goes on the slide. Um, Baines, where are we? Yeah, as you'll see, seven point one eight. Um, I think last time I did did the comparison, he's just slightly under. Um, Jameson still got the got the slight edge on him, um, and I think probably Baines has got the slight edge on uh, Leather. But uh, at the minute, he seems to have done quite well, so we'll give him a bit of game time. Right at the base of midfield, Shenton and Biggins in front of him, Sterling James on the left with Felix on the right uh, because Ogunbe has uh, been injured. He had a uh, an injury in the last game. Um, so he is being rested. He's coming back from the injury. And Riley is up front as he's um, on top form at the moment. Cardwell isn't. Uh, Fodicek, Ingall, Birch, O'Brien, Andal Gibbons gets a rare appearance on the bench. And Cardwell as our substitute striker. Riley and Cardwell currently will not discuss new uh, terms with us. I did ask the uh, director of football to discuss terms. Um, with both of them and um, they've rejected basically so we've got to wait now for them to uh, to get over their hissy fit about uh, not being offered a proper contract and then we'll see what if, uh, we can do it uh, manually do it ourselves as it were so without any more to do let's go through to the dressing room and we'll have a look at this I want you to pick up where you left off last time. Got everybody composed. Um, Lewis Riley. See more of the same from you tonight. Um, have faith in you. Go out there and make a difference. I think uh, we'll say the same to Felix. Yep. So that's got everybody up and running. We are at home, so we would hope that we could get something here. Didn't actually check to see where Dulwich Hamlet are. Oh, they're right down the bottom 21st, but that hasn't made much difference just recently. Um, we have suffered at the hands of players in the bottom. And he's in Hughes. He's not... Uh, 100% obviously and I don't know have we got uh, what have we got on the bench yeah once again I didn't put a defender on the bench properly uh, never mind um, this is our game in hand we were on 32 so um, this will put us if we can win this game will put us one point behind south end those draws have really caused us some mischief in there um, but uh, it will uh, give us a five point gap down to Chesterfield as it stands and uh, as I say one tuck one point in behind South End so um, the game that we got coming up against South End shortly will make a big difference ball right across the front Sterling gets it back across Biggins with a header but he didn't really hit that with any conviction and the goalkeeper managed to get to it Dulwich Hamlet on the attack now. Counter attack. It's gone out wide. Defenders need to make sure they're pushing back, which they have. But the long ball in, and that's gone wide. Looked as if it was going in, but um, he missed, thankfully. Sterling with the corner, and it comes in. Nobody there. We still need to sort corners out. Shenton back out wide to Sterling. Sterling with the cross in now. Oh, and Riley flicked that, I think, just wide of the left-hand post. Sterling on the other side now with a corner. And that's a headed goal. Just when I said that we need to sort these corners out, we've actually scored from a corner. That is a uh, on-camera something to savour that. And... Shenton with the headed goal. 
with 25 minutes or so gone they have a corner now danger of an equaliser but it's cleared by Jameson to Riley who's flicked it on but nobody there uh, only their defender Leather with the header down to Sterling firm header from Leather Sterling on a run now but he's been tackled and they've mopped up the ball it's gone over the top but it's uh, going to run through to Irwin Irwin with the ball long ball forward looking for Riley didn't find him but finds Biggins Raquel Wright lobs it forward for Riley but it's headed out to Sterling Sterling gets the cross in too high for Riley and Biggins gets his first goal of the season since he's come with us um, contributed to both those goals and uh, he's got one himself there contributed to get the ball out wide Sterling Sterling cuts it back eventually it's headed out but only as far as Biggins and Biggins gets his first goal and he's happy about that for sure 2-0 goals after 24 and 31 minutes go in at half time long ball forward lob forward looking for Raleigh but uh, it was a bit too long as they come on a counter attack we could do with out them getting a goal back half time and they're inside now he's had to go out wide for that and well defended and they're cleared by Dwyer on this occasion they still have the attack and this highlight is continuing which is a bit of a worry because it means it's going to come to something but what hopefully pressing quite well there that's gone out wide to McEwen He's got the cross in and it headed down. And Alassani gets one back for Dulwich just before half time, which uh, is not the best time to um, to get it. Really wasn't defended particularly well. And Mullins heading it down. And Alassani, he bags a space. Not much Irwin can do about that poor defending really we have a corner though Sterling Riley trying to get underneath it Shenton coming out for it back to right a keel right now to Shenton who's gone out wide to Sterling again Sterling with a cross in and a heady goal from Biggins he's found the net and he likes it Harrison Biggins second goal of the season second goal of the game puts us two goals clear once again so it's all happening at the end of this first half lovely goal from big ends there one with his foot one with his head and uh, he's on for a hat trick and as you'll see we've had probably the best of that half um, we're going to outstretch our arms or pump our fists no, we're going to actually. I'm very happy to keep it going. Um, let's have a look. Anybody need a little bit of a. I don't think so. I think all things equal, we're doing okay. Sterling, uh, James having a fantastic game on that left side. Been injured and out resting just recently. I don't know. Tackle gone in there. It's gone to Biggins to Sterling. Sterling now gets forward and has a shot himself. Decided he wanted to join in the action. But didn't actually come to anything on this occasion. We have a corner from Sterling now. Leather's going to try and get in on the act. He got underneath that and headed it over the top. I think he was offside actually. No he wasn't. Couldn't have been. Begins is tired, and I'm not surprised. And um, so are Hughes and Dwyer out here. Right, I think it's time for some changes. Um, Harry Begins, we can replace with Jim O'Brien. 
he won't be happy about that because in fact I'm going to undo that I'm going to leave Biggins on for a minute um, Sterling James is tired on the left side Kane Felix is doing okay um, right I'm going to do Hughes for Birch and we're just going to do that for the minute really because yeah I know uh, ignore that for a minute we are through to 80 minutes I think we can probably do those changes now so we're going to do two things here um, hang on a minute before we do that let's cancel that a second let's go in to this bit and we're going to praise the team we're going to drop to balance to try and retain that 3-1 three, 3-1 one. Three, one win would be fantastic I think it's time now Biggins has had a good game he'd be disappointed to come off and not be able to get his hat trick but under the circumstances I think he deserves a rest so Jim O'Brien on for him and we will take off Sterling James who has had a man of the match effort today and we'll bring Andal Gibbons on for him Harry Cardwell still doesn't get an opportunity to come on and those changes are made and we've seen the game out nicely there as we go through well done lads that was a good win for us outstretched arms fantastic good stuff so a good start to the episode can we continue it in the second game what's going on here uh, dominance into victory yeah Sterling James on form so a good shout for him handshake you were superb with the number of quality chances yeah, it was very good. Um, Andy Brace? Who's Andy Brace? He's assistant manager. He's been paid to avoid relegation from the National League. Does that mean, it doesn't actually tell us, but does that mean we have got enough points? I'll have a quick look in a minute. Let's have a look at the table quickly. Um... Panorama National League. Look at the table. So, uh, 33 games gone. 13 games to go. That is 39 points. Yes, it means that we cannot be relegated uh, downwards this season. The limit is 30 here. So we can't be relegated as it currently stands. Um, we are one point tucked in behind South End as uh, mentioned previously and five points clear at Chesterfield in third place as it currently stands so our uh, game in hand we have one we're looking all good and a uh, goal difference of 38 which uh, if we can get on equal points to South End does mean that we will overtake them on goal difference right so it is through to our second game of the episode this game is against Borham Wood would you believe and we've also got them in the FA Trophy next round as well and this is the team that we have selected for the game against uh, Boreham Wood in the uh, Vanarama National League Irwin remains in goal Warren comes in on the left hand side of defence as uh, Dwyer and Hughes are tired and need a rest so we have rested them for this game Warren on the left Jameson Leather and Wilson uh, makes up our defensive line uh, of right is a defensive midfield Shenton and Biggins continue in midfield with Sterling James Ogenby comes back on the right Riley continues up front and then on the bench we had Fodacek uh, Birch O'Brien and Gibbons and Felix um, are our defensive line in fact we have got 
uh, he can play on the left as well, which is why I've got him on the bench. Plus, he can play in central midfield. So, um, we do have a few options there <coughs> to uh, to fit in. Um, and I think that will work. So, that is the team that we are submitting. Tyrell, uh, Tyrell Wilson and sorry, Tyrell Warren and Sean Wilson are both uh, not fantastically fit. They need a little bit of um, game time, shall we say? And uh, through to the dressing room. Stretched arms. Continue where you left off last time. And Lewis Raleigh. Faith in you get out there, make a difference. He's okay. He's motivated. And we're all set. Playing in our blue today. Don't get confused with Boron Wood, who play in white. Wood, who were in 10th at the start of this game. Lots of fixtures being played today, so we'll see how we go. Boron Wood with the first highlight, and Tashminga puts it wide. There's only one thing with this formation. Take a little while to get going. Sterling with the corner. It's headed clear, but out to Shenton. Shenton holding the ball up looking for support Jameson with the ball forward looking for Ogenby, Ogenby has got it keeps it in, only just ball back across Sterling on the other side in, Riley with the block shot back out to Sterling, Sterling back across to Biggins who heads it wide of the goal <coughs> Ogenby with that cross missed everybody and uh, yeah Sterling Riley with the block shot and as I say it takes us a little while to get warmed up get going um, Tyrrell Wilson has suffered a cut hand but should be okay to play through we'll ignore him for a minute sure he'll be alright with the cut hand Leather with a throw in to Ogenby. Ogenby heads it forward to Riley, who wasn't going to miss from there. 29th goal of the season. We go one goal up. And uh, it's looking... As if this... It just takes us a while to get going, which is a bit of a worry, because if, uh, if the other side are quick off the mark, they will nab us somewhat. And South End must still be drawing against Maidenhead, which means we have gone back into pole position at the moment. First half, we're just at one goal lead, but uh, as you see, very slow off the mark. But once we did get going, not had the possession though. But Lewis Riley gets us in front. He's doing quite well. Through to the second half. They have a throw in. And we need to be careful here. Ah! <clears throat> oh dear. Stockport County have gone 2-1 up against Gateshead. Obviously seeing that because it must mean that the result yeah, is headed down right into McDonald's path who uh, he was loads of space. That is their first shot on target um, which is disappointing. Great goal. Right, uh, 52 minutes gone. We'll run it through to about 60 minutes. See if we can uh, get back in this. South End still nil nil with Maidenhead. So a win here would be quite useful. Right, 60 minutes gone. They are actually getting more shots on target now, or getting more shots. 
Um, question arises, we encourage the players and I think we might just change to slightly attacking, more attacking if we can. Um, What am I looking for here? Uh, attack, attack, attack. No, we're okay, I think. Just looking to see whether we needed to up the uh, up the attacking on uh, discard all changes. And Sterling has tired again. Right, let's as we've gone 72 minutes, let's have a look. Sterling James for Andal Gibbons at the moment. And Warren obviously is bothered by that hand, um, which is making me wonder whether we should substitute him. We'll go with that for the minute. And I think since we've gone attacking, they've had more chances, which is a bit of a worry. Wilson picks up the ball, though, and he's got that ball forward to Riley. He can't get through, though. Biggins. Biggins out to Wilson. Wilson with the cross. Nobody there. Andal Gibbons has a stab at it, and the goalkeeper, as it was a bit of a tame shot, was equal to it. Andal Gibbons. Ball across. It come through to him and didn't sweep that home. I have a throw in leather on the far side there. Leather to Ogenby. Ogenby gets the cross in. Riley puts us 2 1 in front. And uh, good goal. 30th goal of the season. Lewis Riley. 83 minutes gone. Watch the highlight. Enjoy the highlight. Question of whether he was offside there, but the linesman run away, so I'm guessing he wasn't at the time. Right, need to do our final changes, but I think it's time for us to drop. Oh, I'm sure I changed that to attacking. Maybe not. Um, right. Going to encourage again. And we'll make those changes that we need to make on the off the bench. Right. Um Arlen Birch on for Warren. But then what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap Wilson and Birch around because Birch can play on the right side. Wilson can play left or right. And one final change. Ogenby is tired. He's coming back from injury. So we can bring Kane Felix on for him. And hopefully that will see the game out with those changes. Southend must have taken the lead now. They have goal against Maidenhead. Which means that we... Ah... Uh, Cleared to Riley. Riley now going on a run. He's beaten his man. Is he going on his own solo effort? Hat trick? No. Straight at the goalkeeper. Out for a throw. Riley here. Really would have had him on odds on to um to have start. it must have been hell of a shot because uh couldn't hang on to that. Leather with the throw in now. Biggins to Birch. Birch with the ball in to Riley. Riley couldn't get to it. He was defended out of it. Over the top. Felix with a goal. 3-1 and his eighth goal of the season. That is done and dusted. Lovely ball across. Riley not getting to it. Right with the 
ball over the top. Felix just heads it almost like chip heads the goalkeeper. And uh, question of offside here as it comes back out. He's onside. Riley was offside, but uh, he wasn't interfering with play. And so there we go. We have another throw in. Leather now. Riley on a hat trick, don't forget. Leather with the cross in. Riley couldn't find him again. Shenton. Shenton with a shot. It's hit the post, I think. What a shot from Shenton. This late in the game. And uh, they have a corner. Looking to get one back. Headed off the line, I think. And they have another go. Right this time. Clears the ball. Come on, referee. He's offside, surely, ref. Yeah. Oh, well, they've got the corner, which is very weird. McDonnell, cleared by Jameson. Felix is going to run out to it. And we have two on one here. Felix going on his own. Crosses it. Not sure what that was or who to. Riley was hanging back for avoiding being offside. And that is a good result. A winning episode. I like winning episodes. They are good. I enjoy them. Um, hope you have too. We are pleased with that. So we're still that one point behind South End, but we're keeping up the pace um, because if we hadn't won that game or drawn it, South End would have gone a little bit in front of us. So we're still in front. Five points clear of Chesterfield, who conceivably have also won today. I can't see them. There they are. 2 0 against Sutton United. Uh, Jake Wright has agreed to stay with us on a um, on trial. What I was looking for: superior finishing uh, provides cutting edge for Chorley. Succumb to a three-one loss. Da 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 da. Brace for Lewis Riley helped Chorley to victory. Riley impresses. So once again, man of the match. Superb in front of goal. Keep it up. We like. We like. So there we go. That is how we finish the episode. And we are looking to come back now. We are a couple of episodes away from the end of the season. So um, we will play offline Maidenhead Bournemouth in the FA Trophy quarterfinal. Um, we will have the semi-final if, um, if it happens. We get through uh, that game, then we will be playing the semi-final uh, online. We will see that. Um, but uh, we will come back, I think. One, two, three, four. We're going to come back for Dover, Dover Athletic and Ebbs Fleet United is our next episode. Um, unless, um, as I say, the FA Trophy gets in the way there somewhere, in which case it might be slightly different. And then obviously we'll end up with Dagnan Redbridge and Wealdston for the end of the season. Unless something major happens between now and then. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification button to keep up to date with all the future episodes of this and new series as they are released. New episodes of To Be A Legend are currently released every Monday and Thursday at 4.15pm. And why not follow me on Twitter at Just Offside 2 to keep up to date on this channel with all that's happening and lots, lots more. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next episode, which will be episode 18 is out shortly. See you soon. Bye for now.